This is a memorable day. I'm excited to begin this new journey, an alliance with the people of Colossae Kingdom. The royal marriage of the decade is about to happen. <laughs> and I'm so proud of our children for the bold step they have taken. Yeah. To me, it's telling us that the diamond still white. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Your Majesty. Yes. It takes boldness to fall in love. And it takes more courage to decide for marriage. Good. Our children, the prince of Badua Kingdom and the princess of Kolosi Kingdom are really making us proud. I, and I am happy. <laughs> I'll be very, very happy. I agree. <laughs> Your Majesty. Yeah. This is fated by the gods. Exactly. And I am sure it's going to be a royal wedding of the decade. Right. I agree with you, my friend. <laughs> I can't wait. Your Majesty. Um, thank you. I thank the gods for a beautiful opportunity like this. I've been waiting for this moment. So I'm going straight to the point. <laughs> My queen. They say, life is all about love. And love is the true meaning of life. Yes. I love you. Oh. <laughs> and I have one question to ask you. And if you say yes, I'll be the happiest man on earth. <laughs> Will you marry me? Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My fiancé fell ill the moment he came close to me. What is going on? Don't panic, my daughter. Stop panicking. Relax. The answer to your questions will be getting very soon. Yes. Stop panicking. Yes, sir. I'm sure the real physician will have something to say about this. This may be a minor health challenge. Let's wait for him I hear what he has to say. This, this cannot be happening. This cannot be happening. Mother, I have waited so long for this. My princess, I said relax. Nothing is happening. It's going to be all right. Okay? We really have to run along now. We have envoys from the neighboring kingdom to take good care of, to host today. All right? We must be on our way now, but please, once you go, make sure you come back to us on time. All right? Let's go. My love, stop worrying yourself. Hmm? Everything will be fine, okay? Please take care of yourself. Huh? Safe travels. Thank you.
for my sake. Mm. Prince, I can't see anything wrong with you. The vital sit normal. You are as healthy as anyone. You don't have any problem. No cause for alarm. That's a relief. But what could have caused him to suffocate twice? Not naturally. But what was he doing when this happened? He was about to propose to me. Oh. He was overexcited. So what could be responsible for that? Medically, nothing would have caused this. Uh, but I think uh, I will have to come back to take his blood sample to run some tests. I think um, medically there will be an explanation. Mm. Hmm. So I have to go and come back. It's okay. It's, 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 it's the problem. This is what I don't like. I'm it's happy that, that you're dead already. That's it. What? Doctor! 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 I called both of you to speak to you. Yesterday was supposed to be a memorable day for the two kingdoms. But the unpredictable happened. We want both of you to calm down. Don't entertain any wild thoughts. The royal physician will give us an answer once the test result is out. Until he comes out with the findings, you are both advised to maintain social distance. How long are we supposed to stay apart for? My prince, I understand how you feel, but the feeling is mutual, believe me. Lately, I have been thinking that maybe something is trying to separate us, or perhaps I am cursed. Any man I get close to gets hurt. I don't expect you to sound like this, Princess. Who knows if I am sick? Try to be positive, okay? So, it's nobody's fault. You advise not to entertain wild thoughts and uh, maintain social distance. I'm sure in no distant time everything will be fine. Let's just maintain positivity, that's all. Your Majesty, after running an extensive text, I've returned. The test is still negative. The prince is all right and he's in good condition. Yeah. So, what medical explanation would you give to what happens to my son and precious Lily, whatever it is? Your Majesty, perhaps. Uh, Medicine does not have an answer to this situation. It's probably something you're not doing right. Perhaps you're missing some tiny details. No, your, your Prince, I did not miss anything. You are healthy. Your heart is in good condition. The, the, the answer you seek is not with medicine. Maybe psychological or spiritual. Are you saying this is a spiritual reoccurrence? I'm saying for something so strange, all factors should not be overlooked, Your Majesty. Unfortunately, I don't believe in spiritual attacks. 
I'll reach out to other medical experts. And I'm very hopeful they would find something you're not seeing. My prince, just maybe he's right. How do you explain that each time I come close to you, you, you begin to choke? I think it is more of a spiritual problem than medical. Who knows? I am cursed. It is my doing. Princess, please don't say that. Let us take the physician's advice and uh, explore other possibilities. Until we do that, do not entertain any wild thoughts. Please. yourself killed I can't stand to see my love cry I feel so sad about it it is no fault of yours I am hurting as well but I am hurting because I cannot stand the thoughts of not being close to you but at the same time I cannot endanger your life mm. I miss hugging you. It was never like this between us. It wasn't. This too shall pass. Henceforth, my prince, you have to keep your distance. I hate to see you suffer like this. I need to see you suffer like this. Please keep your distance up until your solution is found. If you do not keep away from me, I will leave this palace. Are you trying to leave me? Would that make you happy? If it will keep you safe, yes, I will gladly leave. You don't have to leave. I promise to keep my distance. But promise me you're not going to leave. Please. Oh. Promise me you're not going to leave. I promise to keep my distance. So long as you keep your distance, I promise. I will not leave you. <sighs> what sort of sad love is this? You're looking at your loved one, but you can't even go close because you're scared of dying. Honestly. This is indeed a sad love story. Do you think there will ever be a solution? Mm. At the risk of the future king's life? I mean, that would be considered recklessness. You're right. I feel they should just, you know, end everything. 
Yes. Because this love is nothing but painful and sorrowful. They should just end it. It's not worth it. It's not worth the stress at all. Hey, but they could fight for this love. Yes. Could it be the princess has a lover in the spiritual realm? That hate her getting close to another man. I disagree with you. I feel the prince is not meant for the princess. Why would you say that? How do you mean? It's very obvious. I think I should go close to him and see if he will suffocate. Oh, really? And what if he doesn't? <laughs> Fine then. If he doesn't, it means I belong to the prince <laughs> and not you the princess. You are asking for punishment. <laughs> Stay away from the prince. He is engaged and he will get married soon. This your ambition and curiosity can get you killed one day. Excuse me. Please, madam, take a chill pill. I was only joking. So don't get yourself worked up. Is that enough? So my friends, you mean each time you get close to her, you start suffocating? Yeah. That has been my experience. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, yeah to answer your question, um, that has been my experience so far. When I go close to her, I begin to feel like something controls me. And as soon as I detach myself from her, I feel better. This is strange. I mean, you're not sick. But each time you get close to her, you get sick. Exactly. What do we call this? <sighs> the type of sickness that has no name and has no cure. It has no medicine. We've been asked to seek spiritual solution. Hmm. Spiritual solution? I don't believe in spiritualism. I don't. But this could be your heart busting out of excitement over the love you have for her. Because I know you love her so much. And maybe at this point, you're so excited that it's beginning to hurt your chest. Or maybe that's what I think. Steve, yeah? I wish things were that easy. However, I still do not believe in spiritualism. I strongly believe that there must be a scientific explanation of this entire situation. Yeah, I agree with you. I know you miss her so much. Yes, I do. I miss her. Mm. Don't worry. Everything will soon turn to normal, okay? Ah, uh, my great friend. Bobo, I welcome you and your wife in my palace. Thank you. I have wanted to make this visit, as a matter of fact, because it's been a while I visited their kingdom. To be more sincere, I missed that fresh palm wine you might serve me with when I come. I've told my wife so many about that special palm wine. <laughs> My king, you know we've been friends for ages now. That's right. It gladdens my heart to have you around me, and it will be my pleasure to have you in my kingdom. As a matter of fact, we are actually going to the neighboring village before we decided to make a U-turn to see the king of Badu a kingdom. I see. <laughs> Once again, uh, you're welcome. Apparently, Messin failed to provide uh, explanation and solution to the princess uh, Hathax. Whenever he meets the princess, that's the situation as it were. And I must tell you, it's a critical time how to deal with. I think we should make some consultations. We have to consult the gods. This is more than our stomach can digest. We're on the same wavelength. 
As a matter of fact, I have been breathing over this, and I know we must consult and provide solution to all this because the couple have been advised to maintain social distance. I can't imagine what they are going through. It must be very, very hard on them. The lovebirds cannot stay without touching each other. You read my mind. That is more reason we should hurry and look for solution to all these strange occurrences so that this royal wedding will hold soon. Well, I still remember. I missed our trouble most. You made this for me. How? Yeah. Thank you. And what do we have here? We yeah, have some chicken. Yeah. You like it? Quite thoughtful of you. You're welcome. Come here. The rice is really spicy too. I, I know. I know. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, it, it skipped my mind. I mean, what was it's I okay. thinking? It's okay. It's okay. I guess I haven't gotten used to staying far away from you. Me too. Listen, I noticed you've been sad. I just wanted to make you happy. And you succeeded in making me happy. I'm sorry. I, Sorry, please. It's okay. Oh, ow. Are you ow. okay? Yeah. Jeez. You know you really got me here. What the hell is going on? There seems to be a lot running in your mind, my queen. What bothers you? I can't stop thinking about the words of the priest. I've never had any reason to doubt his abilities. But in this scenario, I am questioning his words. I know it's very difficult for you to understand and accept considering how badly we've wanted this marriage to work but then the priest cannot lie we must do everything within our means to protect the children i understand but saying they are ill-fated that they are not meant to be is what i will not accept considering the way they met in the first place that could only be fate. Your Majesty. Yes, my good friend. Can you imagine? The people of Sana Sana Kingdom has refused to negotiate. They are crossing any of my boundaries and trying to take my land by force. Mm. If the people of uh, Sana Sana Kingdom has refused peaceful negotiation, then they're asking for war and they must give it to them. That is the last result. But you know, my king, I'm a peaceful man. And I value the lives of my people, the people in my kingdom, so much that I wouldn't like them to lose their lives. Needless going to war if there are other solutions that amount to no bloodshed. I think there should be a better solution. 
Pagó Farley. I understand your constraints. But you see, when people poke you so hard and you do nothing, they will take it to be weakness and might even come to invade your home. You have started with your borderline and very soon they will encroach your palace if you let them. Hmm, the people, they are aware of my weakness and I know they will use that as an advantage. Your Majesty. Joining my condition, I would want to ask for you to release your army, your military, to join my own force so that I have a successful battle. What? Oh, what you're asking for is quite difficult. Considering the fact that the people of Sanasana Kingdom and my people have no problems. So, joining you to fight them would mean, you know, creating a meeting when there is none. However, I would have loved to help a friend that I now consider my brother. Nevertheless, there's a way to go about it so that uh, joining you to fight them will be justifiable. Hmm. So, what are you suggesting? Well, marriage? Marriage between the two kingdoms will send uh, a strong signal as family, you know, family fight for each other. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> you got it? Yes. Is that supposed to be a proposal for royal marriage uh, uh, between the princess of Colossi Kingdom and the prince? of Badoe Kingdom. This is the only justifiable means to join you in the war against the people of Sanasala Kingdom and it will be a justifiable case. Wow. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> very, very brilliant. <laughs> it would be a nice idea okay. to have an old friend oh. as an in-law. You know. Well, we have no other choice. We have to tell our queens about this and prepare our children towards this unavoidable marriage. I will silence them into absolute withdrawal. <laughs> I don't know what the kings are thinking. Telling us to bring sworn enemies together and make them couple. Yeah. Exactly what I was thinking. This is mission impossible. Mission impossible. The prince and the princess hated each other since when they were kids. How do we even consider asking the impossible for them? Now that they are grown-ups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't see it happening now. The kings are thinking impossible. And they expected the queens to help them achieve that impossible. Where do we start from? Well, we could start by telling them this is their new duty. They must fulfill for their kingdoms. Yes. When it comes to royal or political marriage, what heart feels doesn't matter. What matters is the benefit. Mm. Mm. But I think that will be possible if our children does not believe in love. Son, I have been looking for the right time to tell you this. His Majesty and I have found a wife for you the future queen of this kingdom. Yes, she's everything you would wish in a woman. 
just strong, resilient, brave. She's a charismatic girl, and uh, I must tell you this sincerely. Having her as a member of this royal family is a plus. Yes. Your Majesty, that's a brilliant idea. But I wish you said this to me earlier, like a year ago. I would have considered. But unfortunately, I have uh, someone I want to spend the rest of my life with. Wait a minute. Are you saying you've been seeing another woman for the past one year without mentioning it to us? Who is she? What does she look like? Where do I start from? Mother, she looks like everything you described and more. Yeah. Father, kindly permit me to bring her over. I'd like you to meet her. Oh. <sighs> well, bring her home. Let's see if she's worth becoming your wife and the future queen. But we, we do not approve of her yet. Uh, I hope this is clear. My son, your happiness matters to us. And we will be honest with what is best for you or not. We will love to meet this young girl. We have spoken so much about with affection. And she should be very fast. She's actually tasking my patience. Yes, she is. Hello, mother. Hello, father. I'm actually in a haste. I need to return in time for something. Please. My daughter, we asked you to visit us, but you refused to come home. We are left with no other choice but to come and meet you like this. Yes, my princess. You always hated it whenever we show up at your office with cards. That is why we call you into the car for a discussion that can not wait. I'm sorry, but I want to thank you for your understanding. The truth is, I intend coming home this weekend. But seeing you here now means that whatever it is, cannot wait up until my return. Lily, my daughter, time is of essence. Time and time is of essence. My daughter, you have this last duty for this noble kingdom. We've been able to secure a marriage alliance for you. He is a prince. He's a prince. But, but father, you, you, you promised, you, you gave me your words that I will marry the one I love, the person I love, that it is never going to be based on some political arrangement. Why are you going back on your promise? My princess, if this wasn't crucial, your father would not be pressuring you. His Majesty and the entire kingdom need this alliance to survive. Can't you do this as the royal daughter that you are? Mother, what about me? What about my feelings? What about what I want? Do I just burn and vanish as a result of a loveless and political marriage arrangement? The truth is, I cannot and will not fulfill this. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. I have someone in mind and I love this person with every fat bar in me. That is the one I am going to marry. Lily, my daughter, you need to listen to words of reasoning. Excuse me, father. Excuse me, mother. I need to this run. is the last thing you can do for your kingdom. Yes.
Thank you. See. Uh, so I have. It is beautiful. Thank you. I mean, this is grand. Yeah, yeah. You like the color? Of course I do. Oh. It's. It's. Uh, I love brown colors. Actually. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know. So uh, I'm going to take you around the house and show you places. Ah. Who we have here? Igwe. Yes. Graces, Your Majesty. Graces. Um, this is the love of my life, Princess Lily, from Kolosi Kingdom. Princess, kindly meet my father, the king, and that's my mother, the queen. Your Majesty, my name is Princess Lily, the daughter of King Obuwa the Second of Kolosi Kingdom. Your father is my bosom friend. We've been friends since we were boys. <laughs> right. So I'm proud of your choice after all. Thank you, Father. You think like me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Father. Yeah. Princess Lily is like a daughter to this family. Yeah. Both of you used to be sworn enemy when you were kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and we have been praying that one day both of you will come along. Just imagine. <laughs> We thank God for today. Yeah, here we are. Mm. Come, 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 come. Ah. <laughs> Let me wait, twist wait, you. Hold on, hold on. I have ah, to I finish see. it. Ow. Because <laughs> she happens to be the lady in our mind. Yes. Oh. Yes, for you to marry. <laughs> oh, don't you see the excitement uh, of us uh, when uh, we, we uh, saw both save, of you coming? Save, save your breath. <laughs> I want to treat you people very well. Come on. <laughs> You have surprised me again. <laughs> Let's go eat it. Come on, my daughter, you're welcome. You're welcome. You like to take the pillow? Yes, sir. My <laughs> father likes salt. Oh, my God. Today is in great, a great day. Without so much trying hard or much ado with commands, our children found a way to be together even before we considered the possibilities. I'm enthused, I must say, sincerely. <laughs> Your Majesty. Well. Yeah. I've always had this absolute faith that my daughter here, Lily, will definitely walk the right path mm -hmm. <laughs> and bring the right people. I see. I know this marriage is going to be the marriage of the decade. <laughs> I'm stupidly happy. Ah. <laughs> we are about to make a wonderful history. I Honestly, I agree with you, Your Majesty. <laughs> yes. But um, I'm curious to know how they fell in love with each other. Mm. You know, the last time they were together, mm -hmm. they fought and vowed never to be friends. Mm. And today, like a they are lovebirds. <laughs> yes. Please. Tell us. What's the magic? How did it happen? <laughs> hey, you're a better storyteller than I am, so tell them how we met. Alright. <clears throat> so we met again at the Royal Academy where we were chosen to perform a play together. So we were always at loggerheads because of our differences. I mean, we couldn't make it work and constantly failed. We decided to set aside our differences just so we can have um, a successful role as a couple. Oh. <laughs> we needed to pull off the perfect couple. And that was it. We had an amazing chemistry. Uh, Butterflies began to kick in. Uh, 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 and we had lots and lots of memories and sparks together. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> and, um, here we are, in love with each other, and uh, planning to spend the rest of our lives together. I'm the happiest man here. <laughs> That's good. I can't wait. I guess it's going to be very busy for the both kingdoms. As we have a royal marriage to prepare for. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're right, my queen. Yes, even before we thought of joining them together, they already met and fell in love. What do we call that, if not fate? Your Majesty, we can't just leave them like that. We need to do something. We need to help them. I think we should find a solution. You're right. The priest must find a solution. He must consult the deities to unravel the forces behind this mishap and how to appease them. Our children deserve to be happy. And this we must achieve. Come on, I know you're not in the right frame of mind to continue this. It's okay. That will be done. Come. Shit. So, my prince, did your majesty later seek the spiritual solution like he earlier said? Yes, he did. Oh. Nice. But that's bad news. The chief priest thinks we are ill-fated and he wants us to quit the relationship. Ill-fated? Who decides who is ill-fated and who is not? You didn't buy that idea, did you? Good question. You see, Steve, I have never believed in spiritualism. Never. In my entire existence. And I feel very pained because each time I try to express myself in that direction, everyone thinks I'm doing something wrong, especially the chief priest. Hmm. I'm going to be very honest with you. I do not believe in spiritualism. And I'll tell you why. I am well exposed. I am well traveled. I studied abroad. In fact, I'm a science student. We work with facts. Now, you don't expect me to believe the chief priest. He popped out of nowhere and said, oh, there's a dark cloud around your head. And that's the reason you should stay away from the love of your life. Come on, I can't do that. <clears throat> I can't do that. You see, my prince, at this point, this is looking like a mystery. I do not also believe in spiritualism. But science and medicine has failed to explain to me why you feel the way you feel whenever you're close to her. You must really miss her. Yes, I do. Oh. Steve, I miss her so much that sometimes I get really scared that I might end up not remembering what she feels like. How she smells. How she loves me. Or how I used to love her. It's that bad. And let me tell you something very important. You see, my heart beats really fast. Each time I'm close to her. And my heart equally bleeds. Each time I'm forced to stay away from her. See, my prince, I understand, but you just have to hang in there because the solution must be around the corner. I mean, you're not giving up, not now. Steve, I don't intend to stay away from the love of my life. That's my prince. Spiritual powers or no spiritual powers. I love her. And that's where it ends. Exactly. Nice to hear that. 
Your Highness, Your Majesty, you summoned me. Why is that? Last time you visited, you left me with no option than to wonder with the words you left me with. Still, I've not been able to phantom anything. It's quite unlike the way you operate, wise one. I only speak what the gods reveal. I cannot tell you what you want to hear when they have not spoken. Yes. In other words, the gods are saying that uh, they should not quit their relationship. Is that what they are saying? I said what I saw. And that cloud, too fierce and determined to set two of them apart. It should be very dangerous for anyone to try to pull them together. Wise one. Yes. I understand how deeply concerned you are about this whole thing. But you are not the one to quickly jump into conclusions when the gods are yet to speak. So I urge you, consult the deities. Find out what this mystery behind the force is. And tell us what it will take to appease them. I am willing to sacrifice anything for the happiness of my son and that of the princess. In that case, I will consult the gods again. Then I will reveal their message to you. Hmm. <laughs> Makanda gave me a sack, will you mend on Saturday? Gave a mouth, Dilon, Makijito Fima. You will permit me to go. Magandrema. Baby Makan, and you so we will go. The Jito of Abrundoku. What do you know about the Mendo Saturday? Or Garo Catli Mendo so good. Then, my one. And then I reckon then also. Ogarigan go to the educate the Abu. I don't have a cage you work, a cage you work, you know, I'm on trauma. Do you wish to speak with me? Yes, I do. Why are you so sad and discouraged? Like someone who has lost all hope. That is exactly how I feel. I have lost all hope. I see my love and I can't embrace him. I can't rest my head on his shoulders. 
We cannot do the things we do. I cannot even as little as get close to him to whisper into his ears. Your Majesty, it, it feels like a death sentence already. My dear, we have to be brave. Fight whatever this is and be happy. I don't want to see you looking so downcast like someone who has lost hope and accepted defeat. Whatever you share with my son is very special and worth fighting for. Your Majesty, I agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. It is worth fighting for. But you see, one cannot fight a force he or she cannot see. Nobody knows what is going on in this palace. Nobody can actually see what is going on. Nobody can give account as to what is happening. It is, it's it is okay. a mystery. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. It's Please. a mystery I am trying to unravel, but... Just it... calm down, okay? Radio is here to give you some information that will blow your mind. Oh, really? I don't have money to pay for this information. <laughs> you don't have to pay for this. I am ready to share this information free of charge. Please go ahead. I have discovered the reason the princess cannot go close to the prince. You did? Yes, because we heard that the chief prince could not even discover the secret behind the mystery. I mean, he couldn't see what the problem is. It's because the chief prince is scared of the royals and the deities. Huh. Yes. Hmm. That is unlikely. Okay, what did you discover? The princess has a spiritual lord that is very, very, very interested and jealous of her. He doesn't ever want to see her or share her with any man. That is why she can't go close to the prince. I said it. Huh. Eh? Shita, how did you know all of this? Hmm? Have you forgotten I'm the radio of this palace? There is no information that will pass me by. I know. Yes, and it's very obvious. Is it not obvious? When a man's life is at danger or because of a woman, it means her spiritual husband is at work. Have you forgotten? Even the chief priest said it. There is a force, a big force. Which other force? He said an unknown force. Chita, can you shut your mouth? This your tongue will land you into trouble one day. How can you be saying something that you are not sure of with so much confidence? Chita, <laughs> Chita, you have to be very careful. Because if the king or the queen hear this, trust me, they will execute you in this palace. And you know that. Just be careful. You guys are sounding like this because I didn't call him on right? Or something, right? Please, with this kind of information, keep it to yourself and don't give it to me. <laughs> Okay, I know what to do. Next time, I will make sure to take money or food from you two. Stupid things. A certain pan fruit falls, and a certain chick runs to pick it. And the pan fruit asks the chick, When did the disagreement start? It has come to my table that some of you here are making jest of what is happening in the palace. On no account should affairs of this royal household be breathed out or be made public. You are the palace domestic strength and must guide the palace jealously. When the house loses its embarge, but the house owner and the servants are always on the same wavelength. While you are here discharging your duties, I want you to be careful. This is the last time I want to hear about this. You're dismissed. 
Long live my king. Excuse me. This is mysterious. So mysterious. Hi. Hi, gorgeous. You okay? Yes. Do you remember this? Of course. I've always wanted one. How did you find it? My love, your happiness is my highest goal. I know we're going through a lot right now, but trust me, I strongly believe we're going to pull through. Just have faith in me. I would love to stand even the most severest violent wind. The feeling is mutual. I promise you this day, I'll love you and fight for us to be together for the rest of our lives. Please put it on. There you go. You phone. There you go. <laughs> My face! something my love I have always wanted to get you that necklace and wear it on you myself I succeeded in doing that today at the expense of your life what if something had happened to you how do you expect me to move on henceforth please whenever I forget push me away please how can I do that my love, how can I do that? Even when I'm far away from you, the loneliness kills me inside. I love you so much. The necklace looks good at you, looks perfect on you. Thank you, please. Anytime I forget myself and get close to you, please endeavor to push me away. Endeavor to do that, please. I don't like seeing you like this. Please. What is it? I... I thought... Falling in love... Would be one of the best things to ever happen to me. But... Lately... 
it feels like I'm, I'm walking on a thin rope with hell beneath it. If I sleep and falls, the fire would consume me. My love, I understand how you feel. And this is heartbreaking. But you really need to give this time. This too will pass. No, mother. No. No, not before. The death of him. I am his doom. If I stay close to him, I will lose him. But when I stay away from him, it feels like death itself. What do I do? What am I, what am I supposed to do? But what? 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 What am I supposed to do? I can't stay away from him. And at the same time, I hate to see him struggle for his life simply because I came close to him. You are not his doom. You are his blessings and happiness. You cannot blame yourself for what is happening. Even the chief priest is unable to tell the reason for this. Please, my love. Don't do this to yourself. It's hard to see you like this. Please. Please. Bonnie face, Onyabu. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, mommy, thank you. Thank you so much. You promised me that you will give me a wife today. And I have found her. And I love her from the bottom of my heart. The soul of my spirit. <laughs> Pony face. Huh? I will never be your woman. Huh? Are you insane or something? Is something wrong with you? Huh? Even if this world is to be taken over by apes, chimpanzees, I will never consider to be your woman. Never! Take it easy, man. Take it easy. I'm a human being. Uh, 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 Shita, do you think finding love is very easy like that? The answer is no. <laughs> I know that finding love is very easy love is very easy like that the answer is no i know that you are looking very, very... Mm, you are looking very, very beautiful. But... Any man that dare to marry is taking a very big risk. Yes! Meaning? Huh? Bonnie face. Hmm? Meaning? Are you referring to me as that witchy witchy princess that goes close to our prince and he feels like dying? Is that what you're saying? But your own, your own is worse. Your mouth is like a pit of hell. Your mouth has been guaranteed to untimely death. Any man who dares to marry you is already celebrating his death. Yes! Because your mouth can vomit everything. The ones they told you and the ones they didn't tell you. Yes! Because, anyway, sir, let me consider. Let me know if I can manage you. Will you love me? I want to manage you. <laughs> oh my God. In your dreams, Joseph the dreamer. Don't worry, the prince will soon break up with the princess, the witchy witchy princess, and then he will have my time. I will come close to him like his woman, and he has no choice than to look my way and show me all the love and attention that I deserve. <laughs> See, let me tell you, the love between prince and princess is like Romy and Juliet, mm. including the dying part. No woman can separate them, including you. So I'm advising you. In fact, I'm giving you the last option. Look at me, name no again. <laughs> Come, let me love you. Let me love you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> yes? Bonnie face. Huh? <laughs> You're nothing but a joker. Huh? Keep joking. Pretty soon, you will be lying on the floor, cleaning everywhere for your own queen, the queen of this great kingdom. Hmm? By the time I become the wife, the queen to the prince, you will have no choice than to become a walking stone. And let me tell you, 
if you ever spill that nonsense again, I will give you a dirty slap. <sighs> Idiot. Mm -hmm. You haven't reached like that. Fool. Well, yeah? So you, you want to slap me? I don't believe yeah? Because I use violence. Hi, sit down. What? Huh? See, this your rudeness. See how you're talking to me. I just wanted to fall in love. Huh? Eh? I know it's a very big risk, but no problem. Ha! Oh, wow. Oh. Chita. I see the way Bonnie face looks at you. Are you guys having a thing? Yeah! Bupaso! What are you saying? Bonnie face and I? How does that sound in your ear? God forbid! I will never have anything to do with that fool. And what is wrong with that? You are sounding like the guy is beneath you, and he is not. He is just a guard and you a maid. Because we are all maids. So what is, what, what is wrong with that? Really? You are a maid. I am a queen. In making, if you address yourself as one, please do not address me as the one because pretty son, <laughs> just pretty son, I will carry my princess child, I'll be pregnant for him, I will become the queen, and you two will keep on serving me with that stupid bunny face. <laughs> Dead dream. <laughs> now I understand the kind of person you are. You don't fear for your life at all. So what makes you think that you can get pregnant for the prince who is engaged to the princess? Wait, so you call that engagement? God forbid, that is not engagement. That is a death threat. When our own prince's life is at stake with that witchy witchy princess, ah, it's very obvious you two are naive. There is no way our prince will marry that stupid witchy witchy princess. And I know our king and our queen will never allow it to happen. So my dear, get ready to applaud your new queen pretty soon. <laughs> and please, Chita, you see this conversation? I was never part of it. In fact, I didn't hear you saying it, okay? Me too. I am not part of this discussion. The king has ordered everyone in this palace to desist from discussing this. I don't know why you keep bringing it up. <laughs> really? You see why you guys are very shallow? Your minds are very local. Yes! So you expect I, Shita, to say something and not talk about it? God forbid! I will only stop talking when I'm dead. As long as I'm alive, anything wrong from me. Whatever I see, I will talk. That is why God created me and gives me my mouth. Keep talking now. Yes, leave it! Talking. Leave it for me. She said you want my king, but you can't even look at you. You don't have it, baby. You don't. Then here by what you do. I have it. I have it. Even that princess, the one on with you, with you princess, stupid thing. Rubbish. Absolutely. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah. But you know we need to we need to uh Yeah, we need to put more money. <laughs> Stop it! They won't chop you. The rats won't chop me, my boy. What's wrong with you? It's the rats. What do you think this is? Okay. Hey, stop, stop. That's enough. What is it? Okay, you rats. He did it. He could not pursue me. Hey, hey, go. Hey, go. Hey, go. Hey, go. Get your hands off me. It's coming. Oh, the rats. Hey. Don't ever try this again. Hey. What gave you the right to touch me? Right. If you do this again, I'll deal with you. Get out! Sorry. My prince, don't go there! The rats! Hey, my prince! I can't believe there's still no rest from the chief priest. We can't let this go on forever. Our children are in pain. I agree with you. I think we should seek other spiritual sources for this solution. Do you have anybody we can consult? Actually, I do. But my husband warned me never to meet her. 
She is a powerful witch. A gifted one at that. Well, in as much as we need solution for, for this, I will not advise you to disobey your husband, the king. But one thing we should know here is, desperate times deserves desperate measures. We can't afford to waste time. Yes, my friend. Yes. We can't sit and do nothing. A lot is a stick. I will contact her and book an appointment. That will be fine. I can go with you. Because we need to put a stop to all this. We need to put a stop to it very fast. It's okay. It's okay. I will let you know uh, after talking to her. And that was what she said. You know, I was telling you, I did. May the gods be praised. May the gods be praised. Oh my goodness. <laughs> did something good happen? Yes. Why are you excited? I have always known we are meant to be together. We are destined to be together. Oh, congratulations <laughs> to you, my you. friend. Congratulations to you and Boniface, the palace guard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, are you laying curse on me? Ha. And that's your stupid bunny face. I am talking about the prince and not that fool bunny face. The prince? Yes. I went close to him. I held him so close to myself, very tight. And you know what? He didn't even suffocate or feel like dying. I knew this is fate. It can only be fate at work. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you mean you held the prince? Yes. What sort of boldness is this? Cheetah. Hmm? <laughs> you know what? When you are in love, she don't care or fear anyone. Don't worry, I will give him something that will make him forget that witchy, witchy princess and focus on me. All his attention will be on me. I will give him that love that will give him peace and not harm or endanger his life. <laughs> Chita, do you know you are actually asking to be killed? Yes, you're calling for your own vet. I'm telling you. Can you imagine? Why don't you stop this madness you call love or whatsoever you call it before it kills you? Just stop it. What was I thinking? That you too will support me or be happy for me? Oh, I thought I would come and share my joy with people I call my friends. Oh. But it's very obvious you two are nothing but enemies of progress. That is what you are too. <laughs> yes. Do you know what you are? You are just a desperado. Don't worry. Desperate. Very soon, I will become the queen of this great kingdom. And you two will be serving me, pampering me, feeding me, and doing everything for me. And I will be with my prince. Thank you, gods of our land. You're worthy to be praised, my prince. <laughs> Why is all what did the gods say? Your majesty, they have not spoken up to this moment. Unlike them, they don't used to keep quiet to this extent. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? Uh, could their silence be for good? It can be of bad, but my advice to you is to consider another marriage alliance. He is going to be the next king of this kingdom, and the part he is working with the princess is that of the dead. Wise ones, wise one 
These are bare assassins of the gods, yet they have not spoken to you. Yes. Do you now speak on your own volition? No. I speak based on what I see. Forget this marriage alliance and look for another one. That's my advice. Why is it? One more. You must find a solution. Tell the gods they can't stop me. It is Lily or no other woman. Fifi. It's okay. Ah, oh, wise one. Um, I, I understand your efforts to ameliorate uh, the whole situation. But we must wait to hear from the gods. Let them give us instruction on what to do. Until then, things will not fall apart. Okay, Your Majesty. The gods have spoken. Welcome, Your Majesties. The burden of your children's pain is the hardest to carry. You already know the reason we are here? Or did you call her on phone to tell her? No. I only called for one hour to meet. I told you she's very gifted. Look at you. I can see how worried you are concerning your children. But it's a love that can never be. What is causing this separation? Please, tell us what could be done to appease it. I cannot see the cause of the problem. But I can only see the dark cloud covering the heart of the prince. It stops him from going close to his love. It is a force to reckon with, unrelenting and determined to keep them apart. Which means there must be something you can do for us. Something to lift the dark cloud. I cannot risk my life in this. Tell them to end the relationship. Their life matters. Your Majesties, the cloud is not ready to go away. This is mysterious, so mysterious. You sent for me. Have you seen the princess? No, my prince. She has been in her room all day. All day? Yes, my prince. In fact, she refused to open her door. All right, that'll be all. Okay, my prince. Son? Mother. Are you okay? Mom, I need your help. I'm so worried about the princess. She hasn't been out all day. Something might be wrong. Son, do not panic. I will go to her and find out what the problem is. But remember, the distance. Keep it. I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> I want to get yourself over 
princess, don't do that. It is best I die. My existence endangers his life and he won't let go. <laughs> you think dying will make me happy? <laughs> My son will die with you. If you are willing to quit on life for this great love for my son, my son will do the same. <laughs> Everyone says we are not meant to be. Why? Why are we still holding on? My princess, <laughs> true love is hard to come by. And one thing you should know is that Nothing good comes easy. It must surely come with trial and suffering. But I promise you, if we stay positive, solution will surely come. Please, put yourself together. Let's be positive. Please. It's okay, please. Man, looking at you, everything is still the same. The princess tried to overdose herself. According to her, that's the only way to protect me. What? Um, I hope she's she's okay now. Like she's better now. Thankfully, the queen intervened and it became a different story. Steve, do you know why this is really painful? The princess and I have done everything to be together. But it looks like something is trying to tear us apart. My prince. I just think both of you should be strong at a time like this. It's trying times. I mean, it's a trying time and I, I hopefully both of you will overcome it. So, I'm, I'm sorry you're going through all this and all I can do is talk about it and not provide a solution. I'm really sorry. I, I wish there's something I can do. Steve. I can't even help myself. How do I expect you to help me? <sighs> if something happens to her, then life is not worth living. Nothing will happen to both of you. I, I promise you, just put yourself together, okay? This also will pass. Yes. We were so delighted when we got your invitation. It gave us hope. I feel your body too. I want to help, but I must train with caution, or I could lose my life. Did you find a solution? Maybe, maybe not. It could be a temporary solution for the lovers to get closer to themselves. This is a protective bracelet capable of destroying dark energy. The princess must wear it at night before approaching the prince. It has a powerful spell in it, capable of breaking the dark cloud and joining them. Hmm. Solution at last. Thank you so much. Please, can we have the bracelet? Yes. Thank you so much. But remember, the princess must wear it at night and give one million naira as a thanks to the elders for their support. Of course, that, that won't be a problem. That won't be a problem. Thank you so much, Virginia. You are very grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have a protective bracelet. 
from the great witch Mira. Have you heard about her? Yes, your majesty. I heard she's the last of her kind and powerful. Did she find the solution to our problem? Yes. She said this bracelet is capable of neutralizing bad energy. That you have to put it on every night before you go close to him. Your Majesty, will, will it work? Because even the greatest chief priest hasn't found the solution to our problem. Guys, guys, listen to me. Which Mira or the chief priest? They obviously have no clue. And mother, we have refused to believe that this entire situation is medical. It's a medical problem. Spirituality does not exist. However, I have contacted one of the best doctors in America. He is on this case as we speak. And he has promised to provide us with a solution facts and not speculations voodoo and dark clouds yes it's the truth doubting thomas while you await the arrival of your top doctor i think i have to do what i have to do my princess you have to wear this thing every night before going close to him. Really? <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty, for your efforts. Don't mention. Your joy is my joy. <laughs> On the news tonight. <laughs> what is new? Please, don't tell us what will put us in trouble. <laughs> This news will not put you in trouble. Rather, it will make you very happy. But it will not come free of charge. You all will have to pay me one after the other. Agree? Yes! I risked my life to get this information I'm about to share. Hi. So start bringing out your money. Information Minister. Oh, Mon Are you sure that this information is quite interesting? Don't you trust me again? The palace radio. Radio without battery. Who else? No Nobody. Problem. Okay. In that case, I will pay. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about you? She will pay, don't worry. And you? Rubbish. Uh -huh. Now listen. Uh -huh. The princess is about to break the barrier. The queen has gotten a solution from the witch bracelet. Are you serious? Yes. I pray it work for her. Honestly. I pray so. I feel so bad for her. <sighs> she has been so sad lately. But did the princess try killing herself? Yes. Of course. Why am I saying yes? I am very sure she tried to kill herself. And then again, I wonder. Why will I be a princess and then choose to discard my life just like that? If I take my own life, what is the essence of the love? I have to be alive for the love story to continue. See, let, 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 let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You see, Romeo and Juliet will disagree. Yes, but for a love story to be complete, to be emotional, death has to be involved. So I'm advising you, you should die. For so that the love story will be complete. What's <laughs> that out? And who made you the romance lecture? Look at this fool. Look at this thing. Because I'm here talking to you and giving you information. You feel we're in the same class, we're not. Hmm? 
I am the chief maiden here. Uh -huh. Yes. But I am, I am, I am the CEO. In fact, I am, I am, I am general officer. Get lost. Uh -huh. Get to the gates. <laughs> Don't make it easy. Me. After all, you are the maid and he's a guy. Oh. Hey, what is that? Hey. <laughs> people do love minister. You can as well die for love. I would never. I'm trying to love with the prince. You know, you know what's up in fact. was a complete reversal in a minute. Princess Lily was the one dying this time. I think we need to keep a distance and get rid of that bracelet. Whatever we are dealing with must be mean and strong as well. Even the powerful witch mirror could not break through. <laughs> My dear, what are we going to do now? Will there ever be a solution to this problem? <laughs> the whole thing is so scary. If you were there yesterday, you won't be in a hurry to mention solution again. What is the need of this solution if it's killing our children? All right. That explains why the chief priest is not saying much on this. I thought as much. This force must be deadly. Maybe we should take our time to explore other options that doesn't involve magic. I agree with you. Because we cannot continue to endanger the life of our children looking for solution. No. It's so scary. I am sick and tired of all these things. Hi, baby. <laughs> Meet my best friend, Shanice, the one I've always told you about. <laughs> oh, don't mind how she's looking all calm and nice. She's a handful. <laughs> Shanice, meet my baby, the prince, the future king of this land. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You're highly welcome. Thank you. I hope the journey wasn't too stressful. Oh, surprisingly, it was fun. And guess what, guys? What? I met someone new. <gasps> you met a man on the strip? So loud. You couldn't tell me all about him. Wow. You met someone new? Yes, that's the What? Who's 
this mystery man who lives? You? Shanice? Did you see the shock on my face? I mean, I just realized the girl I used to sleep with, the girl I once dated, someone I've been longing to meet is actually my ex-girlfriend. What the hell is going on here? When did you become Shanice? Oh, come on, you don't expect me to be answering Berry Bay or Iberi Bay in the States. That's too local and unattractive for a lady. Oh my God. So why did you tell your friend about us? I mean, I'm, I'm very sure she showed you my photograph. Or did you not recognize me? Listen, what we had, it's all in the past. Lily is so happy and I'm not prepared to ruin her happiness with the truth. Like I said, we dated and we broke up. And that is all in the past right now. Now listen and listen good. I am not comfortable pretending to be a stranger to you when there's so much history to unravel between us. I am not going to be that person to keep my fiance in the dark. She deserves to know everything about us. Wait, are you saying you're going to tell her the truth? So you want to ruin our friendship and trust? The princess would think I lied to her and she would never trust me again. Why didn't you think about this? Why did you not tell her about me? Because I didn't want to ruin her happiness. She's my best friend. Okay. I am going to reiterate myself. I am not going to be that man to keep my fiance in the dark. I love her so much and she deserves to know everything, every single thing that happened between us. Wow. I, I didn't know it was this serious. Are you saying that medicine and magic failed to solve this problem? The last attempt almost took my life. I'm beginning to forget what it feels like being close to him. Shanice, of the truth, everything is a mess right now. And I fear that it could get worse. And you think this love is worth it? Has it ever occurred to you that the answer you seek is the one you already know? Riches. That you are not fitted with the prince. Yes. My darling, just quit this relationship. It's not worth your lives. Quit now for your safety, babe. Shamis, please, please don't even say that again. Please do not ever repeat what you just said again. What are you saying? Asking me to quit is like asking me to stop breathing. Listen, I love this guy. This is a man after my heart. I will fight for our love if that's what I must do. Yes, I will. It took me a lifetime to find a love so perfect. And you ask that I quit? No. I will fight for our love. I, I, can't, I can't give up. What now? I've come a long way. Wait, did you, did you say fight? 
Princess, how can you even fight something you don't know or see? My love, please, just, just quit for your safety. Please. my ring doing in Shani's bag? I... This is... This is the ring that connects two hearts. To think I thought I'd lost this ring in the States. What is it doing in her bag? This is... This is my ring. What is this doing in your back? I lost this ring. And I remember I kept asking you if you saw it. But you vehemently denied. I ask you again, what is this doing in your bag? Because it fell out from your bag. Oh, okay, I, I, I later found it. I wanted to return it, but I kept forgetting. Shanice, you forgot a secret ring that joined my heart and that of my fiance? What do you have against my relationship? Come on, princess. That is you going too far. It was just an innocent mistake. I had every intention of returning it, but it kept slipping. Oh, no, just don't stop saying that. What slipped from your mind? You forgot. Shanice, you knew how important this ring was to me. What if this has been the cause of our problems between the prince and I? This ring was what joined our hearts, but I lost mine. I asked you several times, but you denied it. You hid it away from me. You kept it to yourself. You held on to it. Why? Princess, I'm sorry, but I meant no harm. It was just an innocent mistake. Please believe me. I trust that you. I'm sorry. Let me go. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I trust that you. But I meant no harm. Shanice, I trusted you. I trusted you. I told you my deepest secrets. I took you in like a sister. Oh, I'm really There's, There's something I It's fine. You go first. So I was going to say your best friend, Shanice, is my ex. Yeah. And um, I found out when she showed up here. I used to know her as Barbie. Yeah. When we dated, her name was Barbie. I wanted to, you know. Wow. I wow. Are you? Oh. Now. That explains it. So she 
She knew you all this while and never said anything about it. She never made mention of it to me. Oh. Now I see the reason she held on to the sacred ring of two hearts. It's beginning to make sense to me. I beg your pardon? I thought you lost it. How come she has it? She... She, she, she said she... found it... somewhere and forgot to... forgot to give it back, but I doubt it. I mean... She, yes, she's your ex, but... it is crystal clear she still got feelings for you. She's... she's been trying... to ruin our relationship. She's been the one behind all of these problems. I can't believe it. I... By the way, do you still have your ring? Of course I do. It's very valuable to Miss Place. Shani's... Oh, it's beginning to make sense to me now. You know what? I think we found a solution to our problems. My princess, I'm sorry. I didn't know my mistake would cost you so much. I kept the truth about dating Prince in the past because of the girl code we both share about not sleeping with the same guy. I saw how happy you were and I didn't want to ruin it. Please, I hope you find a place in your heart to forgive me of my mistake. Thank you so much for having me in your home, Your Majesties. Permit me to take my leave now. It's okay, my child. Be safe, Charles. Thank you, Majesty. Tell us about this sacred ring. At the Lover's Shrine Oversea, those who seek lasting love, hopeless romantic like myself and the prince, buy a pair of rig. Some come with padlocks, bless them, and join their hearts to beat as one. I lost mine only to find it in Shani's possession a few days ago. You think not being able to wear the ring has something to do with separation? Very likely, Your Majesty. If you're wearing the ring, we must see if that's the solution we have been looking for. That's right. Go ahead and hug each other. We have waited for this morning. We found it. Oh, that's good. I'm happy. But I was wrong. Can I at least come close to you? No, my prince. 
Oh, you shouldn't, my prince. I want to give you a hug. No. I endanger any man who comes close to me. I endanger every young man's life. What are you saying? You're not responsible. The forces are. This is not your doing. It is my doing, my prince. The forces operate through my body. It is best I leave this place for I cannot be the cause of your death. Dear, what happened today? Why are you sounding this way? <laughs> 